afternoon, basketball fans, and welcome inside the gym here at Pleasant Grove High School for the Five for the Fight Hoop Fest down here in Utah County. It's day three of this showcase here before the Thanksgiving holiday, and we've got a 5A matchup for you featuring the Springville High Red Devils and the Cypress High Pirates. Good afternoon, everyone. Matt Coma joining you here for what's going to be a great 5A matchup here between these two teams. So we're getting ready for starting lineups. It's been a fun showcase here for the top 11 teams in the entire country at the high school level in attendance in this con or in this showcase. We saw Cooper Flag and Montverde Academy the last two days. It's along with some other massive top prospects. Of course, Cooper Flag was the one dra drawing all the attention. As he's the Duke commit and the presumative number one overall pick in the NBA draft for 2025. And he's able to put on a show here for the home crowd here as you're seeing Cypress being introduced. As we'll talk about these two teams as we get going here, let's talk about the Cypress Pirates as they're being introduced here. Cypress, of course, moving down a, a level from 6A to 5A with all of the region shakeups in the UHSAA. They were in Region 2 a season ago at the 6A level. This year they're in Region 4, or excuse me, Region, yeah, Region 4 of 5A. There's are along with most of their Region 2 teams. Juan Diego and West Jordan are the newcomers in this region as well. As Cypress coming off a 23-5 and season. First place in Region 2 a season ago. Made it to the semifinals before falling to American Fork. And we'll talk about the rest of their offense as we see Springville being introduced. Springville, of course, a new region for them as well. They're in Region 7 now after being in Region 9 a season ago in 5A. Made it to the 5A quarterfinals a season ago before losing to Alta in the quarterfinal round. Of course, they're along with their new region mates. Cedar Valley and Orem also in that new region with Springville. Springville 19-7 last season, 8-2 in Region 9. As they are there in the blue uniforms, they are the road team in this showcase. Cypress is in the home whites tonight. As Cy Springville will move left to right on your screen for this first quarter, Cypress will move right to left. As the season opener for both these teams, starting lineups for the Pirates will be Zion Brown, Coley Fosta, Chat or Karan Makar, Peyton Sharp, and Spencer C Spears. For Springville, it's Dylan Corfield, Luke Nadal, Andrew Miller, Mason Hansen, and Ethan Chapman. As we're going to see Fosta and Chapman tip it off here, and the season is underway for these two teams. Springville winning the opening tip, tip off and going quickly to work inside and for two. Dropping it in there, Ethan Chapman with the first bucket of the year for the Red Devils. Cypress going to work here, Fosta kicks it out to the corner for three, and it's good. Peyton Sharp from the quarter. Three, two early, Cypress, both teams scoring on their first possessions. Miller, his first shot, and it's good. Andrew Miller. The Las Vegas transfer. We'll talk about him throughout the broadcast tonight. And Cypress back to work. Makar going to feed it inside, and we get our first foul. It's going to be on Chapman. We'll reset down below. 7.13 to go here in our opening quarter. 4-3 your score. They'll sip it out to Brown. In the corner. Ah. Rebound McCarr. Kicks it back out to Brown. Looking near side. Tipped around. And it's settled by Miller. Miller into the front court. Drives. Kicks it out. But a foul. Foul's going to be on Fosta. It'll be his first. 6.57 to go. Both teams picking up their first team fouls here early. Just over a minute gone. Yeah. 
Red Devils looking to inbound. Pass near side. Tipped away by Fosa. A reset down low. Looking for Corfield in the corner. Mason Hansen handling the inbound duties. Looking for Corfield still. Lob it up towards midcourt. Now back here to Hansen. Sets up with shot clock running under 25 to go. Miller spots up for three. Off the back iron. Rebound off of the knee of Chapman. It's Cypress Ball. Of course, the Pirates, the number two seed in the 6A playoffs a season ago. Take it back to work here with Zion Brown. Over the far side for Spears. Now inside. Fosta to Brown. Back to Fosta. Going to spot up for a deep three and connects. Coley Fosta. 6-4 Cypress here early. Quick shot and turnaround. Jay, good shot from Hansen. Ties the game and back the other way. Fosta looking for another three. He didn't catch the iron. Trying to save it. Comes back to Springville. Miller pushes the pace. Kicks it out. Spotting up for three. Off the back iron. Back to Corfield. In the paint. And gets it to go. Cypress looking to push it again. Brown shoulders off man and lays it up and in for two. Back the other way we come. Nadal gets bumped. It'll be another foul on the Pirates. With 5.33 to go, it's 8-8. Here in our first quarter, we'll get our first substitutions of the game. Looks like Maxville and Dutt coming in for Sharp and Spears. Foul was on Drew Hollinger. That's his first. First for the Pirates, or excuse me, number four, McCarr. That's his first for the Pirates. So, Springville back to work. Miller, top of the, top of the zone, will look to press it. Goes inside, lays it up and in for two. McCarr will leave it for Brown. Andrew Miller is first, but... Has two points so far. 10-8 Springville here. Pirates set it up. 18 on the shot clock. Fosta going to drive on Miller. Goes up and it's blocked, but there's a foul on Miller. And Fosta will go to the line to shoot two. Coley Fosta, sophomore. Six foot four sophomore on this Cypress team. Has three points already in this one. Looking to add to his total. Coming up on the halfway point of this first quarter. 4.58 to go. Glad you guys are joining us for day three of the Five for the Fight Hoop Fest. Here from Pleasant Grove High. This is the first. Clangs off the iron. One more shot upcoming here. Again, this game, one of our quadruple header here on KSL Sports Rewind. Fosta gets the second one to go. Gives Cypress nine points on the board. Trailing 10-9 here. Corfield. Brings it up with Hanson. Hanson and Nadal back to Corfield. Back to Hanson. Hanson looking to drive. Gets by a man. Floats it up and in. Mason Hanson. And we get a timeout by the Pirates as Springville with their biggest lead of the day. It's 12-9 the score. As we'll keep it here. Glad you guys could join us for today's broadcast. I mentioned it's a quadruple header here for you on KSL Sports Rewind on kslsports.com. We got three more games on the docket this afternoon. We've already seen three games earlier today. Saw Pleasant Grove, the hosts, taking on Jordan in the early game. Then Sunrise Christian out of Kansas, taking on AZ Compass out of Arizona. And then you just saw, if you joined the broadcast early, 
saw Rock Creek out of Maryland and Wheeler out of Georgia. The game so far, we still got Timview versus Lone Peak, Corner Canyon versus Orem, and Alta versus AF to round out this showcase, which has been a fun one here before the Thanksgiving holiday. This is we're back underway, 4.33 to go. Cypress trailing by three. McCarr's pass, broken up by Hansen. Here comes the Red Devils. Hansen, fadeaway jumpers, in and out. Rebound by Dutton, now McCarr pushes the pace. McCarr, coast to coast, and he goes for two. Karan McCarr, his first points of the game. Miller brings it up for Springville, over to Hansen near side. Quickly over to Chapman, back to Miller. Miller, just inside the line, his shot no good. Gets his own rebound though. Met by two Pirates, kicks it down low and up and in goes Lucas Franks for two. 14-11 your score. Cypress, looking for something here. Brown, nice spin moving in for two. And back comes the other way, Mason Hansen, making his present known. Gets another two. Keeps that three-point lead for Springville. Three minutes to go here in first quarter. Brown. Passes near side, McCarr has time for three and connects. Three. Karan McCarr for three, and it's a tie game. 16 all here, under three minutes now to go. Miller brings it inside, gives it to Hansen on the far near side, kicks it out. Three pointer from Chapman off the iron. Rebound comes to Cypress. Holy Fosta over to McCarr. Another three. Too far that time, rebound Springville. Chapman quickly out to Nadald. As he goes up, in and out. He's trying to draw that charge with McCarr. We play on with 2.15 to go. Three near side, it's good. Dominic Maxfield first bucket of the game and Cyprus with their first lead. Springville back to work, Nadal to Chapman. And he connects from three, back and forth we go. 19 all. Under two minutes now to go. As Brown will slow things down for the Pirates. Maxfield switches with Fosta, back to Brown. Now back to Fosta alley-oop and in. Coley Fosta for two. Miller pushes the pace. Up and in, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two with 126 to go. Karan Makar, his second of the game. Second foul for him. So we'll see substitutions here for both teams. Andrew Miller, of course, transfer this year as he gets the first free throw to go. Came from Palo Verde High School in Nevada last season. Transfers to the Springville team. Looking for their first title since 2020. Second free throw in and out and out of bounds near side. It goes to the way of Cyprus. So 21-20 your score, 125 to go here in our opening quarter. Brown brings it in. Looking for a pass far side, has a man. Three is good. Maxfield is second three of the game. Now Nadal. Near side Chapman. Backs it in. Chapman. Well, stop shot a little short. Out of bounds, back to Cyprus.
59.4 to go. As we're down to the final minute of our opening quarter. Cypress with a four point lead here in this opening game as Brown blows by a defender. Knocked out of bounds. Good pursuit there from Asher Mark for Springville. Able to get the block. Forces that out of bounds. Cypress looking to inbound. They'll lob it for Maxfield. Stolen away by Chapman. Now here come the Red Devils. Crushing it is Nate Aldi. Loses the handle and it's picked up by Cypress. Stone Tia with the steal. Brown will set it down. Seven seconds difference between the shot and game clock here. 30 seconds to go in the, game, in the first quarter. Pass inside looking for Dutt, but it's stolen by the Red Devils. Corfield over to Miller. Final 15 seconds. Shot clock is off. Springville can hold for the final shot here of the quarter. Miller slows it down. Now looks in, just inside the arc and connects. Basketball Miller. Oh, heave at the horn is no good and that'll do it for our first quarter. Action on both ends, a great game. As we head to the second quarter, Cypress with a 24-22 lead here on KSL Sports Rewind. Welcome back, getting ready for our second quarter. Springville and Cypress opening up the 2023-24 season here on KSL Sports Rewind. Matt Gomey here from Pleasant Grove High. Thanks for joining us. Kicking off your Thanksgiving holiday weekend with us. We have game one of a quadruple header here today. Excited to bring you all the action before everybody breaks for the Thanksgiving holiday. Cypress with a 24-22 lead so far here in this one. Both Bosta and Maxfield. Six points each for Cypress in that first quarter. Andrew Miller leading the way for Springville with seven in that first quarter, along with Hanson, six. It'll be Cypress ball to start our second quarter. As we get back underway here. Zion Brown looking for that pass on the far side almost stolen away by Miller it's out of bounds back to Cypress Stone Tia will inbound for Cypress plays it into the backcourt for Brown he'll bring it forward looks far side as Chad Ochang first time we've seen him today he tries to cut inside stolen away by Springville Luke Nadal one-on-one -on -one near side, now kicks it out. Around the horn it goes, back to Miller. Miller from the free throw line, off the boards and in. Nine points for Miller. Now outside, Maxfield. Kicks it back out to Brown. Tied at 24 here, 22 on the shot clock. Brown still moving back and forth, now kicks it down to Dutt. Awan Dutt going to try and set it up there. We get a foul called on the Pirates. It'll be on Chad Ochang, his first. Springle will get the ball back with 7.09 to go before halftime. Tied at 24 here. Mason Hansen back in for Springville. Had six points in that first quarter. Kicks it over to Corfield. Up to Nadal. Drives inside, now kicks it back out. Corfield for three. Off the front iron, rebound by Chapman up and in. Ethan Chapman, Ethan Chapman with two to give Springville a lead. Brown back for Cypress. Pass near side goes off the foot of Juan Dutt. And out of bounds to Springville. 6.34 to go. Aaron, what's been a fun one so far? Back and forth, these two teams. Neither team's had a lead larger than three points here. As Hansen brings it into the front court. Over to Corfield. Back to Nadal. Now Hansen. 
Sets up a screen. Now Hanson drives, loads it up, and in. Mason Hanson. And they're going to call Hanson for the foul. A little bit of a showmanship there after that bucket. It's going to be the first technical foul of this contest. Goes to Mason Hansen after that bucket. So Cypress will shoot on the technical foul here. It'll be Coley Fosta. They'll get the uncontested free throws here. Makes the first one. And gets both of them to go. So that cuts the lead back down to two here. And it will be Cypress ball. So first technical foul for Hansen. It's also his first foul of this game as well. Cypress back to work here. Brown brings it near side, kicks it over Fosta. Pull up jumper. Bounces off the iron and in. Ties the game back up at 28. Back on the, uh, the Pirates. Brown gives it to Fosta. Deep three is good. Coley Fosta. And Cypress with a three point lead. Nadal, Hansen, Corfield, quicks three off the front iron. Rebounded. And now being fought for Corfield, still battling for it. And it's a jump ball. Possession arrows with the Pirates. Or excuse me, possession arrows with the Red Devils here. Got conflicting arrows from the scorekeeper's table and the scoreboard. It is Springfield ball after the jump ball. 5.24 to go. 31-28 Cyprus. Hansen. Dumps it inside and a foul. It's going to be on Dutt. That's going to be his first. It's going to be his first. Second team foul for Cyprus in this second quarter. As Maxfield will check out. Hansen giving it back to Corfield. All the way back in their own end. Springville sets up. Hansen over to Miller. Miller. Inside Chapman. Backs it down. Big block by Dutt. And here come the Pirates. Over to far side Fosta. Stops up inside the line for two off the iron and in. Rebound by the Red Devils. Hansen brings it up. Now Franks out to Miller. Miller looking to drive. Backs down his man. Two Pirates on him. Throws it up. No good. Gets his own rebound. Second chance is fouled. Good effort from Miller there. Able to earn the free throws here. Peyton Sharp, the foul, it's his second. Three fouls now on Cypress here in the second quarter. First free throws up and good. Franks checks out for Nadal. Sharp. Checks out for Cyprus. And second free throw, no good. Rebound to Dutt. Here come the Pirates. Quickly ahead. Stone Tia driving inside. He's fouled. And he'll be on Corfield. That'll be Corfield's first of this contest. 
The second team foul for Springville. Cypress will inbound. Near side for Maxfield. Fosta back to Brown. Brown will reset. 25 on the shot clock. Coming up on four minutes to go in the second quarter. Fosta over to Dutt. Back to Brown. Looking to drive. Inside. Lays it back out. Above the arc. Now driving Fosta. Uh, off the glass and in. Coley Fosta extends the lead for Cyprus. It's a four-point lead. Miller drives. Now kicks it out. Corfield spot up three. He's fouled. And he'll shoot three for the Red Devils. That was Dominic Maxfield. It'll be his first foul. 14th foul for Cyprus in the quarter. So Dylan Corfield will get three shots here. First one's up and good. Corfield, a six foot senior. Second free throw up and good. Cuts the lead down to two with 340 to go. And able to get all three of those free throws. Cuts the lead back down to one. Maxfield brings it in to the front court for Cypress. Brown a Back to Maxfield. Maxfield cross court pass over to Fosta near side. Springville going into a zone this time. First time we've seen them do that today. As Brown kicks it out. Maxfield for three. It's good. Another three pointer for Maxfield. And it's a four point lead with three minutes to go. Nadal. Over to Hanson. Back to Nate on the near side. It's now Cypress in the zone. Swing pass Miller near side. Going to dump it down low for Chapman. Chapman back out Nadal. Thought about a shot. Now drives. Back out Chapman. Brings it inside. Back out to Nadal. Five on the shot clock. Hanson has to kick it out. Quick pass. Miller for three as the horn sounds. It's good. Miller beats the shot clock for three, as you just heard. Two and a half to go. It's 36-35. Miller, double digits in points now. That's 13 for him now. It's Brown. Swinging around to Dutt. Now pass down low. Fosta backing down Hanson. Goes off the glass. No good. Rebound to Chapman. Now Hanson. Two minutes to go. Miller deep three. Off the front iron rebound. Back to Brown. He pushes it. Brown splitting defenders. Looking for the shot. Able to get it to tight. And he puts it in for two. Awan Dutt with his first points of the game. 38-35 Cyprus. Hansen drives. Flows it up. Re Both shots no good. Cyprus now has it. Fosta. Maxfield. Had to regather. Now gets it out back out to Brown. As we're down under 90 seconds to go to halftime. Brown slows things down. Under 20 now on the shot clock. Clock down to 15 now. It's Nadal battling with Brown here at the top. Brown still looking for somewhere to go. Now kicks it over to Fosta. Five on the shot clock for Cyprus. Fosta lost the handle on. It's got to throw it up. Throws up a prayer, and it's a shot clock violation on Cyprus. Exactly one minute to go here in the second quarter. Cyprus with a three-point lead. They'll inbound to Hanson. The Red Devils will take their time here. Looking to knock things up before the break here. Hanson to Chapman. Kicks it back out, Miller. Miller drives, goes up, and Dutt in the way. Rebound no good as well, and it's out of bounds. Back to Cypress. Springville had two cracks at it there, couldn't connect, and it's back to the Pirates. 
40 seconds to go. Karan Makar comes in for Stone Tia. And Cypress can't hold for the final shot just yet. About a five second difference between the shot and game clock. 22 and counting on that shot clock right now as Brown will pass to Fosta. Fosta against Nadal. Shot clock down to 10. Brown. Brown inside for Dutt. Dutt from the free throw line. Kicks it back out. Gives it Maxfield. Three on the shot clock. He'll spot up for three. Off the front iron. Picked up by the Red Devils. Miller pushes the pace. Two seconds to go. Looking to beat the horn, but he's blocked. Owan Dutt seals off the half. And it's been an exciting one here. As Cyprus takes a 38-35 lead to the half. After that block by Awan Dutt. It's been a fun one here so far. We're already through two quarters here from Pleasant Grove High. It's the Five for the Fight Hoop Fest. Day three of the showcase. As we reach halftime, the Pirates with a 38-35 lead heading into our second half. We'll step aside and be back to bring you second half action here from Pleasant Grove High. You're watching the Five for the Fight Hoop Fest on KSL Sports Rewind. All right, welcome back, fans. Getting ready for our third quarter here between Springville and Cyprus. The Pirates with a 38-35 lead. As we head into our third quarter, Matt Coma joining here from Pleasant Grove High. As we bring you day three of the Five for the Fight Hoop Fest showcase here in Utah County. A couple of stats from the first half for you. The rebounding and assist lead goes to Cypress in that first half. 16 to 11 in the rebound advantage. 11 to 3 is the big one. 11 to 3 the assists between both these teams. Seven turnovers though by the Pirates have led to some points for Springville. 7 to 1 the turnover margin between the two teams so far. Both teams doing well in the paint. 16 points in the paint for Springville, 12 for Cypress. Fouls were 7 to 4 in favor of the Pirates. Five steals for Springville in that one as well. 13 points for Andrew Miller leads the way for Springville. 15 points for Coley Fosta for Cyprus. As we get ready to go for our third quarter, Cyprus in the white uniforms will move left to right this half. Springville in the blue uniforms will move right to left as we're back underway for our third quarter. Zion Brown will kick it in a car, dumps it inside. Fosta quickly up and in for two. Good play from the Pirates to open up the half. And they have their largest lead of the game. It's five. Springville back to work. Cypress goes zone defensively. Luke Nadal kicks it over near side. Courtfield for three off the iron. Rebound to McCarr. McCarr will drive. Sets things up for Cypress. Springville going with a zone of their own here. Now go to Mann, excuse me. As Brown kicks it to Fosta. And thought about it and traveled. One too many steps for Fosta. Turnover on the Pirates. Back to Springville. 7.13 to go. 40-35. to 35. Our score here in the third. Hansen also had a great half as well. Eight points for him. So he brings it near side for Nadal. Nadal to Chapman. He'll drive on Dutt. Now kicks it out. Corfield for three. It's good. Another three for Dylan Corfield. And Springville cuts the lead to two. Back to Cypress. Three on the far side. Two short. Rebound to Miller. Miller drives. Tied up with Dutt. Able to hold on to it. Now Hansen drives up off of the glass and in. And just like that, it's a tie game once again. This has been back and forth all game. Neither team really to get any separation. We expected it between these two teams. Cypress, a 6A semifinalist a season ago. Springville made it to the 5A quarters last year. 
Of course, Cypress had Mr. Basketball last year. He's up at Wofford now as we get a foul down low on Hansen. That'll be Hansen's second first of the quarter for Springville. Most of the offense for the Cypress team has graduated, though. It's a very young team. Expected to contend, though, at the 5A level. As the Pirates set things up. New shot clock thanks to the foul. It's down to 25. As Brown will kick it out. Sharp over to Dutt. Now to McCarr. Thought about a three, now kicks it back to Dutt. He backs in, Corfield on him. Dutt gets it to go. Dutt with two more points for him. That'll give him six on the game. Or excuse me, if that's four so far. Under five and a half now to go in the quarter. Nate Ald looking for Miller near side. Now Chapman back to Miller off his hand, tries to save it, and he does. Back to Chapman. Now Corfield for three. Off the iron. Rebound McCarr. Brown pushes it into the front court. Now driving. Kicks it out. Fosta. Fosta will give it a sharp. Now back out to Brown. Reset with 20 on to go on the shot clock. Now Brown. Chapman on him. Kicks it over. Fosta with a deep three. That's off. And rebound to the Devils. Pass your side, stolen away. Brown, clear lane, and he lays it up and in. Zion Brown with a steal in the score. Cypress with a four-point lead. Pass near side, Nadal. Red Devils set things up. Miller at the top of the key. Brings it in. Mid-range jumper, no good. Rebound to Sharp. Now Brown brings it ahead. 4.15 to go. Fast moving third quarter here. Pirates set things up. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Halfway through the quarter. Awan Dutt over to Sharp. Sharp will drive. Inside blocked by Miller. Picked up by Nadal. Now Hansen over to Miller. Miller with a little space, now drives. Has Dutt on him. He goes up and in with the foul. Andrew Miller off the glass and the foul, and he'll have a chance at a three-point play. 3.42 remaining. O-Chang and Maxfield come in for Sharp and Fosa. Miller, 15 points, leading all scorers in this one. Mentioned he's the transfer out of Vegas, new to this Springville squad. Expected to do a lot of great things for the Red Devils as he makes the free throw. 44-43 with 3.42 to go. He's got 16 points so far in this one. Him and Fosta... Battling out for top scorer in this one so far. Pirates back to work here. 3.30 to go as Brown lays it up. Bounces around and then floats in. And Zion Brown picks up another two points. That's his six points now for him. Now Miller from the free throw line and it's good. Another two points for Miller. That's 18. Still a one-point game here, coming up on three minutes to go in the quarter. Chad O'Chang gives it back to Brown. Now back to O'Chang. Now near side Maxfield back to O'Chang, able to snag that one. Now Maxfield thought about a shot. Now drives, passes down low. Dutt off the glass, no good. Ball pinballs around and is recovered by the Devils. Outlet pass to Nadal. Back out Miller, deep three. Off the iron, rebound to the Pirates. Maxfield with a rebound, now Brown to McCarr. McCarr inside, Ochang 
Maxfield. Thought about it. Kicks it back out to Brown with 23 on the clock, shot clock. 2.15 to go, third quarter. Cypress with a one-point lead. Kicks it down low. Nice pass to McCarr. Off the glass in and count the foul. Karan McCarr gets the points and the foul. And he'll go to the line for the three-point play. As Dutt will check out. Spencer Spears back in for Cypress. As McCarr, seven points, looking for eight here. And he's got it, and it's a four-point lead for Cypress. As we get a pass over on the far side, Gorefield was looking for Hanson. It went right to the official, who ended up catching it. So we'll reset. Springville will get the ball back here. Nadal back to Hansen, under two minutes to go. Corfield, back to Hansen. Now Nadal, down low for Miller. Has Ocheng on him. Fadeaway jumper, off and rebounded by the Pirates, McCarr. Tangled up over the far side, Maxfield for three, it's short. Rebound, snagged by Spears, back out. Ocheng for three, it's no good. Hansen with the rebound, and he's fouled by Spears. With 1.28 to go here in the quarter. First foul of the game for Spears. Second team foul for Cypress. Pirates with a four-point lead here. We're down to the final 88 seconds and counting. Here in our third quarter. It's been a fun one so far. Corfield, top of the point. Now to Hansen. And an offensive foul called on Chapman. On that screen. That's going to be that's going to be his second of the game. Third foul of the quarter for Springville. 114 to play in our third quarter. As Spears and McCarr will check out. Fosta back in for Cyprus. Along with Dutt. Pass to the corner. Fosta back to Brown. Now over far side. Maxfield for three. And it's no good. Rebound to Chapman. Down to the final minute of the third quarter. Miller. It's been electric offensively. He goes up and he's fouled. Foul will be on Ocheng. That'll be his second. So two shots up coming for Miller here. 18 points on the game so far for Miller. He leads all scorers with now 19 points. And we'll cut the lead down to three here. Miller, a 6'4 junior. For the Springville squad as he gets both free throws and cuts the lead down to two. Forty seconds to go here in the quarter. Twenty-five on the shot clock as Springville goes back into the zone. Cross court pass. Fosta travels once again. Second traveling violation for Fosta. And Springville will get the last possession here. 33 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. Two-point game here. As we come to the final seconds of the third. Nadal to Miller. Miller driving. Kicks it out. Chapman back to Nadal. Under 20 to go. Back to Miller. Drives inside. Stop there. Corfield, deep three. It's no good. We're off the hands of the Pirates, and it's going to stay with the Springville Red Devils. It was Dutt and Brown down there that had a chance at it. I think Ocheng as well. So 8.8 to go in the quarter. Springville will get one last crack here. Hansen. 
Hansen inbounds Nadal. Seven seconds to go. Nadal drives. Dutt gets a piece of it. Gets the rebound. Two seconds and one. Final heave from half court. Oh, just wide for Maxfield. And that's the end of the third quarter. Cypress has a two-point lead going into the final eight minutes. We'll step aside and be back for the fourth quarter. It's been a fun one. Stay tuned for the fourth quarter here. Cyprus with a 49-47 lead here on KSL Sports Rewind. Welcome back. Eight minutes to go in tonight's contest. As we reach the fourth quarter, Cyprus with a 49-47 lead over the Springville Red Devils. Matt Coma joining here from Pleasant Grove High. Glad you guys could join us for game one of our quadruple header here on KSL Sports Rewind. We'll have Lone Peak and Tim Pugh coming up next. Should be a great game between those two teams. Lone Peak's already started the season. They played back on Monday in the showcase. Took down Chicago Simeon in that game. It'll be Tim Pugh's season opener. Of course, Tim Pugh, the reigning 5A football champions. So that'll be our next game. We'll have two more later tonight. Dane Stewart will be here for the call on those two games. So we get ready for the fourth quarter here. Two-point lead for the Pirates. Andrew Miller leads all scorers with 20 points. Coley Fost has got 17 for Cyprus. Those are your top scorers so far here in this contest as Springville will start with the ball. Moving right to left for this fourth quarter. Andrew Miller at the helm here. Miller looking to drive. And that by Fosta, able to keep his dribble. Miller tries again, lost the handle, loose on the deck, and a foul. Uh, it looks going to be on Miller. He's a little shaken up. Holding his left wrist. It's going to stay in the game, but it's the first foul for Miller. The ball comes back to Cypress here. Both teams looking to start their season 1-0 and here. Pirates go to work. Fosta to Brown. And he'll drive, has time, now kicks it back outside. Tipped by Miller, and he's got the steal. One on two the other way. Miller driving, fouled. And he'll shoot two. Let's see who the foul's on here. It's going to be on Maxfield. It'll be his second. First foul of the fourth quarter for Cypress. Two shots here for Andrew Miller. He has been the offense for Springville this entire second half. Hansen, the next closest scorer at 10 points. That free throw puts Hansen at 21 on the night. Second free throw, good. 22 points now for Miller, and it's a one-point game now. Or excuse me, tie game. Pirates on offense here. Brown on the far side. Lost the dribble. Has to kick it back out. Gives it to Tia. Tia will drive. Has Corfield on him. Tia up. Rolls around the cup. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound to Hanson. Now Miller brings it ahead to Springville. Lost it off his foot. And it's going to be a double dribble on Hansen. Lost the dribble. Picked it up and kept going. So a turnover for the Red Devils. Just the fourth turnover of the game for Springville here in this one. It's so under seven minutes now to go. Tie game and a timeout called by the Pirates. We'll take the timeout as well. 6.42 to go in the fourth quarter. We're tied at 49. Welcome back. 6.42 to go in our game here between Springville and Cypress. Glad you guys could join us for the fourth game of the day here between these two teams. Or between here in the showcase. Day three of the showcase. Mentioned three more games here on this quadruple header on KSL Sports Rewind. Tim Few versus Lone Peak is our next game. 
scheduled to start at 4 o'clock. Maybe just a tad late for those sticking around for that one. We'll probably start just a little bit late. We've been running a little behind with all the games today. We had seven total games today here in the showcase. After the Timview Lone Peak game, Dane Stewart will come and take over as he'll have bring you Corner Canyon and Orem. And rounding out the night will be Alta and American Fort. It's going to be a great night of Utah High School hoops here. So we're on the eve of Thanksgiving. Glad you guys can start your Thanksgiving holiday with us. As we're back underway here. 20 on the shot clock, 6.30 to go in the game, tied at 49. Brown calling the shots. Return pass. Now near side for Fosta, back to Brown. Shot clock under 10. Over far side, Maxfield. He'll drive, looking for Dutt. Stolen away by Chapman. Ball still loose. Still on the deck. Hanson fighting down there. It's a shot clock violation, the call. So the ball goes back to Springville. That's turnover number 11 on Cyprus in this one. Makar will check in for... Stone Tia. Springville brings it up, looking for their first lead in quite some time. Scorefield pressured by Maxfield, and a foul is called. It'll be on Maxfield. That's going to be his third. It's going to be three team fouls now on Cyprus. Or, excuse me, second team foul on Cyprus. We're under six minutes now to go. Corfield up to Miller. 25 to go on the shot clock. Back to Corfield, swinging around Natal. Hansen now. Pressure on him. Hansen looks to drive inside the free throw line up and in. As Hansen hits, timeout for Springville. As the Red Devils jump out in front here, timeout on the court will take it as well. 51-49 your score with 5.36 to go in the fourth quarter. Welcome back, 5.36 to go in our game this afternoon. 51-49 your score with the Springville, Springville Red Devils. Leading the Cypress Pirates here. Mason Hansen with the bucket to give the Red Devils the lead. 12 points for Hansen in this one. Second leading scorer for the Red Devils in this one. Team's just wrapping up the timeout here. So we get ready to go back underway at Cypress Ball. As it's been a back and forth game all afternoon. Neither team, I think the largest lead is five. For either team. Cyprus had a five point lead in the third. Springville's largest lead is only four points back in the second. So it's been a great game to open up the season between these two teams. Zone for Springville works out as they get the steal. Kick it ahead. Miller off the glass and in. 24 points for Miller. And it's a three-point lead, or a four-point lead for Springville. Cross-court pass, Maxfield in the corner, and misses the three. Rebound to Corfield. Under five minutes now to go. Hansen going to drive. And drag that foot, and it's a travel on Hansen. Ball comes back to Cypress. Maxfield will check out for Sharp. Peyton Sharp back in there, the junior guard. And Cypress looking to cut into that lead. Fosta to McCarr near side. Zone pressure for Springville. Now Fosta inside Dutt. Nice pass and he dunks it home. Alon Dutt for two. Great pass inside and he flushes it down. Nate on their side. Two point game, 420 to go. Hansen. Mid range jumper gets the kind roll 
And it's in, and another timeout for Springville. So another timeout on the floor. We'll step aside once again. 55-51, your score. The Red Devils trying to pull away here in the fourth. We'll be back in just uh, about 30 seconds. Welcome back, 4.12 to go. Springville with a four-point lead with 4.12 to go. Cypress ball out of the timeout here. As we get ready to go back underway here. As Dutt will inbound to Brown and Cypress will bring it forward. Coming up on four minutes to go. Brown calling the shots from the point. Swinging around. Fosta, cross-court pass to Sharp. Cuts inside and back out to Brown. 15 on the shot clock. Brown looks for the cross-court pass. It's behind Fosta. And a turnover for Cyprus. They're, thir- they're 12th of the game. Excuse me, 13. As Sharp and McCarr will check out. Tia and Maxfield back in for Cyprus. 3.45 to go. It's Hansen gives it to Corfield. Back to Hansen. Near side, Nadal. Nadal back to Hansen. Swinging it around. Corfield. Now to Miller. Has time. Spots up for three. No good. Rebound to Dutt. Cypress pushes the ball. Brown. Drives inside, kicks it out Maxfield. Thought about a shot, now drives inside on Hansen. Floats just inside and gets it for two. And Hansen is down in his own end. It's a, looks like maybe a cramp there. Yeah, it looks like it's a cramp for Hansen here. So... Look at the sophomore guard here. Able to get back up. I'm trying to walk it off here. He was holding on to his calf after, before that first timeout. Trying to make it in on his own power. Hansen's been great for Springville here in this one. 14 points and two assists so far for Hansen. Looks like he's going to be able to walk back to the Springville bench. As we'll get back underway here. No timeout. As it'll be Asher Mark that'll check in for the injured Hansen. They'll look at him. Try to stretch him out on the bench there for Springville. Three thirteen to go. Springville with a two-point lead now. After that last bucket, the Red Devils will bring it into the front court. Pass to our side. Chapman looking for Miller down low. Stolen away by the Pirates. It's picked up by Fosta. Cypress can tie the game or take the lead here. Maxfield drives near the free throw line. Holds up. Now out to Fosta. Hands off to Brown. 20 on the shot clock. Brown drives inside. Up and under and in. And it's tied. Zion Brown, eight points tonight. Two big ones there as we're tied with two and a half to go. Back out, Corfield. Chapman tries to leave it for Miller, does. Tia on him, trying to steal it away. Now Miller blocked by Tut. Rebound back to Cyprus. Cyprus, and here they come. Pirates looking for the lead. Fosta drives to the free throw line, kicks it out to Tia. Out to Brown, 24 on the shot clock, and the timeout is called by Cyprus. So the Pirates... 
get back into it. It's tied at 55. Timeout on the floor will take it as well. You're watching the Fight for the Fight Hoops Fest here on KSL Sports Rewind. Welcome back to PG. 2.03 to go in our contest. We're tied at 55. After the layup by Zion Brown. Pirates have the ball here. As we get back underway. Neither team really in any foul trouble so far. Two fouls in the quarter for Cypress, one for Springville. As the Pirates looking to retake the lead. Fosta down low. Battling with Chapman. We'll kick it back out. Maxville, four on the shot clock. He'll spot up for three. It's too long. Rebound. Battle for here on your side. It's going to be a foul on Tia. And that'll be the third on the Pirates. That'll be a first foul for Tia. And now the Red Devils with 140 to go. We'll bring it up into the front court. Andrew Miller. Miller's got 24 in this contest. Looking to give Springville the lead. Off the back iron, rebound Tia, blocked away by Chapman, and he's able to corral it. Over at far side, Nadal. 115 to go, 30 on the shot clock. Far side, Chapman for three, off the iron, rebound Dutt. And a flate foul on that reach in by Asher Mark. Foul on the Red Devils, their second of the quarter. That'll be Mark's first of the game. 109 to go. Here in this contest, back come the Pirates now. Final minute, tied at 55. Pass inside for Dutt, kicks it out Maxfield. He'll shoot for three, it's short. And picked up by Springville. Corfield, cross court pass. Has Nadal, he'll settle things down. Lost his dribble though. Able to kick it to Miller, 25 on the shot clock, 43 to go in the game. Miller. Inside the arc, he hits! Andrew Miller, 26 points! And Springville takes a two-point lead with 38.45 to go. Timeout on the floor, we'll take it as well. We'll be back in 30 seconds on KSL Sports Rewind. Welcome back, 38.5 to go. Springville with a two-point lead thanks to Andrew Miller. 26 points in his Springville debut. The transfer out of Palo Verde High School in Las Vegas has been electric for Springville. It's his latest two. Gave Springville a two-point lead here. 24 points, five rebounds, four steals for Miller. We'll get ready to go. It'll be Cypress ball here. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Springville with two fouls in this quarter. No one really in foul trouble. No one with more than two fouls. As Brown will pick it up. Clock. Fosta for two. It's good. And we're tied. And another timeout. This one called by the Pirates. It's back and forth here between these two teams. We're deadlocked at 57, 29.5 to go. We'll take one more break and be back for the finish here on KSL Sports Rewind. Welcome back. 29.5 to go. Tied at 57. Coley Fosta, the sophomore guard. Tying things up here with under 30 seconds to go. We've been talking about how great Miller has been for Springville. Post has been the same for Cypress. 19 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists for the sophomore guard. We talked about Cypress had a ton of offense last season. Was third in 6A in scoring last season, but most of their scoring graduated a season ago. So a very young team here for Cypress. But they've been able to 
Battle with Springville, both these teams looking to have great seasons here. Shot clock has been turned off, 29.5 to go, so Springville can hold for the final shot here. As Nadal will bring it ahead. Hansen looking like he's ready to check in for Springville if we get a whistle. Now Corfield and a timeout is going to be called by Springville. That'll bring Hansen in. We'll keep it here for this timeout. As Springville will hold for the final shot with 16.6 to go. Hansen would be the next best option outside of Miller as far as scoring goes. He's got 14 points for Springville. Chapman with seven, Corfield with eight as well for Springville. Maxfield's got 11 for Cypress in this one. Both Brown and McCarr have eight points for Cypress in this one. As you see the Springville bench going over the final play call here. Still a little bit of time, 16.6 is on the clock. Cypress with three fouls so far. Both teams one timeout remaining in this one. As Hansen is back in after that cramp just a couple of minutes ago. He'll inbound here for Springville. They'll check it into Miller. He'll hold with 15 seconds. You would think he will hold for the final shot. 10 seconds. Chapman comes for the screen. Miller looking to drive. He gets bumped, no call. Hansen, he's fouled with 2.5 seconds. It'll be on Ochang and Mason Hansen with a chance to give the Red Devils a lead with 2.5 seconds left. Miller went for the initial shot, couldn't connect. Now Hansen for the lead, it's no good. Hansen's first free throws of the contest here. He's 0 for 1. This to give him the lead. It's good. Timeout Cypress. As Springville takes a one point lead with 2.5 left. Mason Hansen had a lead with the injury. Comes back for the final shot. Able to earn the foul and makes a clutch free throw to give Springville the lead. So we'll see what Cypress is able to draw up here. Only two seconds left here. It'll be a pretty far heave, I would imagine. They'll have to go the whole length of the court. Here with only 2.5, maybe one, maybe two dribbles at the most. Springville does have a foul to give as well. So we'll see if that plays into any factor here. It's been a fun one here. Our first of four games here on KSL Sports Rewind. Those of you checking in for Lone Peak and Timview, it was supposed to start five minutes ago. We will get a little extra coverage here as we bring you the finale of Springville and Cyprus. Timview hanging out just off the court, getting ready to get on the court for warm-ups here. We'll have about a 10-minute warm-up before we get underway with our next game but we got to finish here 2.5 seconds left Cypress needs to go the whole length of the court they just need one point a two or three wins it for Cypress and we'll have to wait a minute as Springville uses their final timeout and we'll still keep it here Look at the upcoming schedule for both these teams as both teams will be off for the Thanksgiving holiday for the rest of the week. Both teams will be back at it next week. Cypress will be back in action on Tuesday. They'll be taking on Skyline. Then they'll make a trip down to Southern Utah. They'll play uh, Dixie, Snow Canyon, and Crimson Cliffs a Thursday, Friday, Saturday affair for Cypress. They'll hit the road in the next couple of weeks. As for Springville, they'll go to Alta on next Friday. That'll be a big one with Jackson Jan Johnson, the Utah commit. Alta and part of this showcase as well. 
as we'll see them later tonight against American Fort. Springville will host Northridge on the 8th of December and round out the Christmas holiday with a trip to Leighton Christian along with a trip to Provo and then hosting Judge in some of their upcoming games. So we're back, ready to go here again. 2.5 seconds left. Any basket will win it for Cyprus. Tia will inbound. No timeouts here as they'll give it to Brown. Two dribbles, throws at half court, and it's no good. And the Springville Red Devils get a last second free throw from Hanson and start the season 1-0. and They win it 58-57. to Andrew Miller, 26 points for the Red Devils to lead the way. 15 points for Hanson. As the Red Devils move to 1-0 and on the season, Cyprus is now 0-1, but a great contest here between Springville and Cyprus on day three of the showcase here in Utah County. That's going to do it for us in this contest. We want to thank each and every one of you for joining us. If you're stepping away, have a happy Thanksgiving and enjoy the holiday weekend. If you're sticking around, we got more basketball. Long Peak and Timpu is coming up next in about 10 minutes. For Tino, our amazing cameraman, I am Matt Gomez signing off here. We'll be back in about 10 minutes for Long Peak and Timpu here from the Five for the Fight Hoops Fest in Utah County. You've been watching high school basketball on KSL Sports Rewind. <laughs>